The tree, big and beautiful, nature's blessing, in which provides us with oxygen, the breath of life. Some relate to it as the family tree. I like to refer to it as the tree of nations. Did you know that a nation represents nationality and that nationality is important because the constitutional rights pertain to citizenship? I was ignorant to this information that citizenship pertains to nationality and that a person who lacks a nationality does not have the rights of a citizen. They have granted privileges. I didn't realize the direct correlation to citizenship and nationality was so serious. And did you also know that one can trace their family roots back by knowing their nationality? Well, let's take a closer look and get different points of views pertaining to love of nationality and citizenship. Let's take a stroll. My nationality is Czechoslovakian. I'm Pakistani. Pakistani. What is your nationality? German Irish. I don't have a nationality. I'm Russian by nationality. What's your nationality again, Nipa? Uh, Indian. I'm Ukrainian. What is your nationality again? Uh, British. What is your nationality? I'm a Muslim. If you don't know your nationality, you don't know where you came from. Hmm. If you don't know where you came from, you don't know where you're going. When I learned Portuguese and I could actually, you know, say hello and speak to my grandparents, then I started, you know, I'm so proud of this country. And I visited when I was 10 and when I was 12. It's a beautiful country. Um, you know, my, my mom's side is from Lisbon. My dad's side is from the south. So I went both areas. And, and, yeah. and so when I could actually speak to them, that's when I started feeling like I was from Portugal. It's important that I'm Russian. because like I'm a Russian seed put into American soil, and, uh, you know, I'm still going to be Russian. Uh, even though I can speak English and be loyal to the country and be American citizen, but I would rather call me Russian-American than just American. I'm proud to be an American, right? It really, because, you know what, this is the land of the opportunity. It really is, right? Because uh, the country is built on free enterprise and, and being free, right? And you have to be here and do what it takes. If you don't love your people, then how can you inspire or encourage your people to become better citizens? And a citizen is a contributor to the progress of the nation where he finds himself. And we are citizens of the United States of America. Is African American really a nationality? No. No. Do you see an African American flag? Is there such thing as an African-American flag? So why are you telling me about my nationality when people say they label me as African-American? Can somebody show me an African-American flag? Flag is considered as nationality. I think the term is used. I mean, when I, when I think of it personally, I try to think African-American more as, just because, you know, I, I don't think using the term black to identify someone is the best term to use. Do you know that everyone in America has a nationality? Not that I know, because like, you know, some of the black Americans, they are trying to find out their heritage, where they're from, you know. It's not, it's just uh, maybe a few years ago, some of them know they're from Africa, they are from, uh, their origin from Africa or from South Africa, and you know, but before they don't know, they thought they are uh, African American here, not from the other, you know, from the other African country. You know. We have to then uh, educate people uh, to find out what Africa is mean about. If they have nations there, why we even don't know that, you know? Then we have to teach people that we have nations there. It's not only one Africa. It's... A man, be a Negro man or black man or a colored man or African American man all at the same time. Mm. Well, basically, I think it's kind of the same thing. And, I'm, and I say that because these are all names that the oppressor put on black people, what we call ourselves. Like, 
everything that the white man called black people, we take up. Like, Africa is really not the name of the continent. Africa, that just means separate, and that's a white man's term on African people. So now everybody calls themselves Africans. Just like black, well, I think I, I, do, I do think that African people used to call themselves black. But Negro, there's no such place called Negro land, and white man just put that on there. That it's, it's just white man just getting that title, and all, all of a sudden black people just submit to the title. So I think it's the same thing, but if you want to really respect yourself, you got to find out what your own people called you instead of some, instead of somebody else that that oppressed your people are going to call you. You know what I'm saying? And this is no disrespect to a uh, average white man and woman or average white person walking up and down the street. I'm just saying. Here we have the Statue of Liberty, one of the great landmarks that all immigrants will see upon arrival to the United States of America. Once people saw the Statue of Liberty, they knew they were in the land of the free. And here's Ellis Island, which opened their doors January 1st, 1892. More than 12 million immigrants have passed through since then. Over 100 million Americans can trace their ancestry in the United States to man, woman, or child whose name passed from a steamship manifest sheet to an inspector's record book in the Great Registry Room at Ellis Island. Ellis Island closed its doors in 1954. So now the new place to go is the INS. Now, Robin, could you explain um, in brief, real yeah. brief, like the process that you had to go through to become a citizen? And like, could you give me the location here in Philadelphia? Okay, well, uh, it was a little bit ago, but I remember I, you have to actually go through the Internet now and, uh, and uh, set up an appointment. They get an appointment back, you go through the fingerprinting process, and then they set up an appointment, you have an interview with them, and there's a mini test you take, uh, you know, who was the first president, it was very simple. I didn't even know I was taking a test until it was over, right? And uh, then after that, you actually get sworn in with, with, the, with your hands raised, and you can have a family member there with the, in front of a judge, and that's at 16th and Callow Hill. But it took, uh, at that time, it was, this was before 9-11, so it took about a year, but I don't know how long it takes, you know, since then. Have you ever, did they ever use the terms colors in your, uh, over in your country, in India and Pakistan, like, you know, like black and white, how to use it here? No, 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 we, ne we, we, we never use this kind of terminology, like, the, you know, not the color, no. We, we use the language coming from Madras, coming from Gujarat, coming from north coming from south so you were able to decipher different people by their languages yeah, languages and the state they come from so the first time you ever heard of colors is when you came to the united states of america yeah. something new to yeah because the south also the little dark color north is little fair color we don't identify by color we identify by language and religion is African American really a nationality, would you say? Not really a nationality. Uh, African American is just what's been termed to be what we understand it is now, what they term us to be. Uh, people of, or I would just say Asiatic people of this continent, of this world, are aware diverse and everywhere around the world. Two thirds of this planet is people of color. So for you to say African American, you don't say go to French and say a Frenchman is, you know, an African American, African Frenchman. You never do that. They're just French, you know. As opposed to America, they sort of, uh, I guess, stereotyped and separated uh, individuals for who they are. And I, I don't believe in that. What is the importance of national of nationality? It's an identity, basically. You know, if you don't know your identity, then then you can't find out your history, really. Because the more you know about, if you break it down to a science, I mean, like, like for example, I don't know too much of my identity except that I'm Mexican African, but I don't, can't go farther than that. I can't tell if I'm from Sudan, Ethiopia, Egypt, South Africa. I don't know which one, Zimbabwe, because of the records is going. So the more you know about nationality, the more you can tell about your history. Because that's a big history right there. So that way you identify yourself. Basically. It's just an identity. So that way you know who you are. Nationality is important because it lets us know our place. It lets us know what our contributions were as a people. It lets us know that we are going to make, you know, monumental contributions to civilization again. 
So nationality is very important because without it, like it's so commonly said, you're like a tree without roots. The time has come when every nation must worship under its own vine and fig tree, and every tongue must confess his own. Through sin and disobedience, every nation has suffered slavery due to the fact that they honored not the creed and principles of their forefathers. That is why the nationality of the Moors was taken away from them in 1774, and the word Negro, black, and colored was given to the Asiatics of America, who were of Moorish descent, because they honored not the principles of their mother and father. Come and link yourselves with the families of nations. Oh yeah, and my nationality is Moorish American. Peace. You can't hide your pride For your nationality Marsh your place in history Charting where your family's been Makes your elders want to grin You can't hide your pride Citizenship pledge allegiance To the place where you now live But the land that holds your birthrights Gives you privilege to the end You can't hide your pride now the two flags wave together, one for government and land, but the other marks my history, for it tells me who I am. You can't hide your pride. The joy I have within me shows wherever I may be. If you don't know where you come from, then you're lost most certainly. You can't hide your pride.